What's going on? My name is Michael Moraev. Today we're going to talk about the four types of people you need in your business to have a high performing team. My name is Michael Moraev and I was able to build a team of 150 plus sales guys in less than two and a half years. Now we have a solar company that's growing like crazy from coast to coast like butter on toast. So let's talk about the top four types of people that you want in your team, that you want in your high performing you know, uh, 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 organization, whatever it may be, right? So there's four types of people that I look for, right? Number one is the lions, right? They're the organizers, okay? You need people that are very good at organizing stuff, right? Organizing the meeting, organizing the people, organizing the structure. They have to have, they're more like the systems people, I would say, right? They're very organized. They like things to be done in a specific way. And those are the types of people that are more on the logical side. Like I tend to be a little bit more sometimes, you know, uh, uh, um, how do I get, I don't relate very well with those, you know, those logical individuals, but you still need those amazing people in your team and your company because what they usually do is they keep the boundaries of the business. They keep the structure in place for the business, right? And I've seen a lot of companies where you have an entrepreneur that has a lot of, you know, good qualities, but they're not organized. And that's okay. You don't have to be organized as an entrepreneur. You don't even have to be organized as a salesperson, right? But as long as you have that organized person or organized couple of people on your team, it's going to help you tremendously because you need to have those systems in place. You need to have those structures in place. Usually, good organizers tend to have amazing, amazing, amazing KPIs, which are key performance indicators for your team because you're able to know exactly the health of that office, the health of that business, the health of that team, right? Right? So having an organizer is a crucial, crucial part. And in order for you to, to attract an organizer, right, if your team and your company is not really structured and organized and they're very, type, you know, they're very like OCD, A-type kind of people, what will end up happening, they usually either quit, leave, or they end up helping you becoming that, that organized individual that you need. So it, it depends on the situation. If the culture is good, the environment is good, that organized individual, that organized lion, so to say, is going to come in and do exactly what he needs to do to structure out that, that team, right? Number two is the fox, right? The fox is, I would say, and not like being slippery slimy, because I know sometimes people you know, relate with a fox being slippery slimy, but I would say more of someone that creates the ideas. You need to have a team or a team member that creates ideas all the time. Innovation is important for a business to grow. Like every single week, every single month, there's new things that happen in technology, new things that happen in health, in science, and whatever it may be. And if your team is not updated with the new creative ideas that are out there and starts creating creative ideas on what needs to change and adapt to those things, your business is about to be doomed, right? So I'll give you guys an example. AI just came out a couple months back where this chat GPT thing was like popular conversation for everybody. How many people or as entrepreneurs actually went to ChatGPT's website and started to play around with it? Not many, right? A lot of people did, but a lot of entrepreneurs, I still talk to people, like, you know what ChatGPT is? Like, oh, I have no idea what that is. I'm like, how do you not know? You're in business for the past 10 years and you're not even looking into new technology that's gonna actually smack you up over the next three to five years, right? So understanding about technology is a very, very crucial, important thing and you need someone that's creative to come up with some of those ideas to sit there and say, you know what? How can I use this information to get the business to the next level, right? How can I create some new structures, some new creative ideas, some new strategies, some new tactics? Because you need that individual, otherwise your business tends to die, right? Um, number three is the cheetahs, okay? You need those guys, these are the people these are the guys or gals that are action takers. They're hustlers. They're out there just pounding and they're pounding and they're pounding and they're pounding it. They don't usually ask a lot of questions. They're just out there just creating massive action. Action up the wazoo. They're creating so much action that you don't even, like they just create results. They're out there grinding it every single day. And usually they don't get too tired, right? Because they, they enjoy working, they enjoy hustling, they enjoy creating that action, right? They enjoy going out there and creating results. That's really, really, really important. Because when you have those cheetahs, listen, Whew, they tend to not be organized, understand that. They just want to create action, action, action. That's why the organizers, the lions come in and keep them in their cage, so to say. Keep them driven, keep them focused on what the mission is all about. And the last, the last person that you need on your team, right, that gal or that girl or that guy, right, needs to be a bear, a relationship builder. Every high performing team needs a person that can create relationships. Relationships is the glue of the business. I want you to think about it this way, right? You have a person, let's say this is Mike, right? And then you have my videographer, that's Matt, right? As an example. What keeps Mike and Matt connected? It's this little string right here, right? And as we spend more time, as we do more things together, this string gets tighter and tighter and tighter and stronger and stronger. And that's what the relationship is about. This is the glue of every relationship, right? It's the connectivity, it's the conversations, it's the spending of time with someone. And that's what keeps a business together. So when you have 50 people, 
in your team with organization with 50 people, how do you keep things together? It's the relationships, right? And that's why you need a bear. So remember, in order for a, a, perform, a high performing team to create success, you need those four people. You need a lion that can be, be the organizer, that can organize the stuff and structure everything with systems and processes, right? You need the fox that creates a lot of the ideas, a lot of the, the amazing, amazing uh, adaptations that you need to take as a business. You also need, remember, the cheetahs, which are the action takers, because without action, listen, that team ain't going nowhere. And last but not least, you need that bear, you need that, you need that person to hold those relationships together because that relationship with the cheetah, with the lion, with the organizer, with the fox, with this, with that, it's not easy. And that's why bears are really amazing at doing so to keeping everybody happy and unison and kind of you know, having a win-win situation. So if you're trying to build a team, my recommendation is find those four people as quickly as possible because when I found those four people on my team, oh my God, it changed everything for me. Because I had those four individuals, four key characteristics that I needed in my business, and it became an amazing, 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 easier time for me to build my team versus trying to do everything by myself. So I appreciate you guys. And as you guys know, every single Monday, every single week, we come at you, and we spit fire, we spit good news, we spit information. We try to impact the, the, the world with our, with our information. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, do me a solid. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. God bless you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video.